Hey, SnowRunner fan. In this video, we're going to look at managing your mods. Before we get started, though, I'd just like to shout out a thank you to everyone who's um, subscribed, liked, or shared my videos in the last couple months. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. So, as I said, we're going to look at managing your mods. And how we're going to do that is we're going to start out with a modded truck, the Delta Pickup. And we're going to look at the customizations that are on it. And one of the things you can see, for example, is the LED light bar across the top of the roof, right? So keep that in mind, the light bar across the top of the roof. So we can see that it's been customized. We'll put it back in storage. And from here, we'll return to the main menu where we can go into the mod browser. So you'll see what the uh, point of this exercise is as we move through the video. So we've taken a look at a modded truck and what we're going to do now is go into the mod browser. And the Delta pickup is the one in the middle. That's the truck that we were using in the garage, checking out its customizations. And see the truck below it now we're going to try and turn it on or enable it we get a warning that tells us mm -mm, no way not enough memory so we go back to the delta pickup we'll turn that off and then we'll go back down to the pack z trucks and voila we're able to turn them on so we've turned off the truck we've we tried to turn something else on can't do it not enough memory so you know we're limited to how many we can turn on at any given time right same thing we can't turn the uh, Delta pick it back on or enable it if you will we're subscribed to it still but we can't enable it alright so we'll check out of here we'll go back to the game that we were in flooded foothills in Yukon Canada get a warning that some trucks are not available and they'll be deleted, some modded trucks. Not too worried about that. Since this won't really have any impact on what it is that we're doing at the moment. Which is trying to find out if we uh, disable a mod and then re-enable it later, will it keep the settings? That's the big idea behind that exercise that we're going through. So here we are, we're back in truck storage. We can see that the truck is not available because we turned it off, disabled it, right? We'll get back out of here, return to the main menu again. from the main menu we'll go back to the mod browser and this time we'll turn off the pack Z series and we'll turn on the Delta pickup now remember we turned it off, for sure it was off. We went in, it wasn't in the uh, storage. We'll load the game back again, flooded foothills. Get a warning about trucks missing, and they'll be deleted, yada yada. No worries, don't need them. So the big question is, will the truck that we disabled and re-enabled have kept its settings? That's the big question. So can we turn trucks off on and off at will and still keep their settings so that we can play without having to worry about losing the settings on a truck every time we you know load in another mod and have to make room for it? Here's the answer to that question. Go to truck storage, pull out the Delta pickup and you can see right away before I even go to customizations that the LED light bar is uh, sitting on the roof of that truck. 
So we look under customize and you can go back to the other part of the video if you want and take a look, but everything's the same, engine, gearbox, suspension, tires, it's all the same. Kept the settings without keeping the truck, if you will. Alright, so that's really good news, right? So that means that you can subscribe to as many as you want. Well, not as many as you want because that number in the lower right of the screen uh, will still go down as you keep subscribing to trucks and maps. But it doesn't have the same kind of impact as I thought it did where I thought that if you kept three gigabytes free you'd be okay but that doesn't seem to be the case because I'm playing now with like 1.3 gigabytes free, 1.4 gigabytes free, something like that alright so that's really good news I mean in that you can download you know a fair number of them much more than you can play with at any given time but again you can't really play with more than what three or four trucks tops in any given mission or situation that you're going to be in all right here we're going to take a look at how this memory corresponds i'm going to uh, show the enabled trucks and maps only the enabled nods we'll see what i've got going on here i've only got six mods enabled so even though my memory is practically maxed out um, i've only got six mods enabled and if I try to enable another biggish mod it won't we've seen it so let's take a look at how many I'm subscribed to on the other hand and clear the enabled only how many am I subscribed to 63 63 so I'm subscribed to 63 but I've got six active if you will right so that should give you a better idea of what you can and can't do and how to manage your mods I hope this was uh, helpful in any event if you did find this video entertaining or helpful I hope that you could take a moment to subscribe like and share I'd really appreciate it it's uh, what keeps me going and making these videos every day and in any event, stay safe and take care. And until the next video, bye for now.